Good morning. So nice of you to join us for this introduction about vectors. This is going to be a very short introduction um, because the entire playlist, what I'm going to discuss with you uh, are vectors with translations, adding and subtracting vectors, multiplying by a particular scalar, the magnitude of a vector, and vector geometry. Okay, so these will be the topics that I will be discussing in uh, the future videos. Yeah, but now very quickly as a start, what is a vector? Okay, now for those of you who are doing physics, I'm sure you're already familiar with it because if I have a little hill, yeah, and I have, let's say, a box on it, okay, so there's this box on the hill, and I'm standing in front of it, I'm standing on the hill, and I'm trying to push the box up the hill, all right? Well, I'm sure you understand, everybody here, if you're doing physics, yes or no, that if I push in this direction with that, let's say, magnitude, with that amount of force, yeah, something is going to happen with the box, okay? And if I would push twice as hard, yeah, the result is going to be different, yeah? The box will go up quicker, yeah? Most likely twice as quick, okay? But that is a physics uh, part of it, yeah? But anyway, I'm sure you understand that if the magnitude, if the size of my force is twice as big, yeah, something else is going to happen with that box, yeah? I'm sure you also will agree with me that if I push, let's say, in that direction, so more towards the ground, yeah, also a different reaction will take place, yeah? It's not very efficient to push in that direction, okay? So, what is important about a vector is that you realize that a vector always has a particular magnitude, yeah, a particular size, yeah, and also a direction, okay? So it has a magnitude and a direction. Now, I'm always going to finish now, uh, just one more thing, and then the rest of it, again, I will explain in those other videos. Um, I just want to give you one example. If I have a vector, AB, for instance, from A to B, and then they will put a little arrow on top of that, half an arrow or an entire arrow, yeah? And that means the vector AB. And vectors are written usually in what we call single column notation. Yeah, let's say three, two. Now, what does, what does that mean, three, two? It means from A, let's say A is here, it doesn't really matter, yeah, I'll put an A there, yeah. I go horizontally three, that means one, two, three, and vertically two, one, two, so that will be B, and that will be the vector AB. Yeah, and what is important, it not only has this particular magnitude or length, it also has a direction from A to B. Can you see that? One more, yeah, because again, I'm gonna explain this in the next video as well. Let's have the vector CD uh, minus two minus three, okay? Let me start somewhere for C. I'll, I'll start for C over here. So I'll, let's see. Minus two, eh? the single column vector, the top number is always the horizontal uh, translation. Minus two, um, that's that direction, isn't it? Yeah. So minus two and then minus three up. Yeah, and I'm sure you agree that is actually three down, okay? So the vector CD, the magnitude it's like that, that's D, and what is the direction? That is like that, okay? So, quickly to the next videos, yeah. Vectors have a magnitude and a direction, and what are we gonna talk about? We're gonna talk about translations, adding and subtracting vectors, multiplying it by scalar, the magnitude of a vector, and then finally vector geometry. See you at the next video.